Let's see, we have 28 degrees. 28 degrees. Okay, beginning odometer reading. 43440.6. 4, 43440.6. See this little piece right here? This is just a sandwich bag wrapped around my trailer connector with some rubber bands. Just wanted to show that to you because I'll talk to you about that in a minute. Made kind of a little mistake with it. Not thinking. I didn't make a video about it last time when I did it, but I took my trailer and uh, upgraded a lot of things on it. Normally the lights on a cheap trailer like that, it's just a cheap utility trailer. I think it cost all of, uh, well, it's 20 years old. Back when my dad bought it, bought it at one of those places like, uh, it wasn't Harbor Freight, but it's almost identical to the Harbor Freight trailers. I think they're going out for around 200 bucks, 150 on sale. So they have really cheap lighting systems and wiring systems. I rewired it a long time ago and then what I wanted to do is I wanted to upgrade the tail lights to a little bit better units, but even the better units, they have galvanized screws that are rust resistant, but they will eventually rust and uh, you have to end up tearing them apart and take them off. So what I did this time is after I replaced them, I didn't let too long go by and I disassembled all the mounting bolts out of them and replaced it all with stainless steel to help with the connection and for the fact that any time in the future I can take them off the trailer real easy and not have to end up cutting them off with a Dremel or something like that. Probably should have let him go now he's going to be stuck behind me probably. So yeah, slowly bit by bit may end up even rebuilding the entire trailer piece by piece. It's got uh, different wheels and hubs on it. It's got different bearings in it. Uh, probably do a little bit of work on the frame maybe next year if I have the time. But anyway, the reason why I showed you the little connector in a baggie was because of the fact that, uh, well, obviously I used the baggie to keep it from getting wet and corroding and stuff like that, but uh, one thing I neglected when I first did it is I just uh, I put the bag around it, put the rubber bands around the bag and just uh, let it hang down like it normally does. So I went out to look at it about three days ago when we had a warm spell. And I was actually, I think I was sitting on my motorcycle or, it else, or else I'd just gotten out of my Jeep. And I'm looking at the bag hanging there and it looks kind of strange to me. I couldn't really figure it out at first and I'm like, it looks kind of puffed up like a water balloon and sure enough I went over and checked it out and it was a it was about a three inch diameter bag of water now fortunately if you know about rusting if things are under water they do not really tend to rust that much it's when they uh, dry out and especially if they repeatedly get soaked and dried out and get soaked and dried out so it was still the entire connector was submerged and didn't end up corroding on me and I'm pretty sure it's galvanized too. So when I discovered this, I uh, drained the water out, took the bag off. It was a warm day with sunshine, so I just let it set and go completely dry. And then came back after it was dry and uh, oh, I'm just going back around this way. <laughs> Wasn't paying attention. Let it completely dry and then uh, put some WD-40 in. You can see one of the little parks we have here. Kemper Park. Yeah, I soaked it all with WD-40, which actually that's what WD-40 is meant for. If you don't know, WD-40 is not really made to be so much a penetrating oil. It will it will work it will work for that. It's not the best. You can get other better penetrating oils like uh, Croil or PB Blaster. I prefer PB Blaster myself, but it's functional. But basically, what it was made and what it was invented for is w the WD stands for water displacement. So. I just sprayed it all over with that and then 
got a new rubber band and baggie and then now I've got it tipped up so that the uh, when it rains or any kind of moisture gets on the wires they won't creep their way into the bag the moisture will tend to uh, run away from the bag itself not get inside to mess up the connector I mean it's not the end of the world anyway I've got a big huge box of trailer parts so I could just cut off and resolder in another connector if I had to but why do that if you don't have to so yeah anyway that's the story with my trailer connector oh I want to get a give a shout out to my teammate too Muzzle Mike he's been doing a really good job with the team this year the uh, in fact for last year he kind of carried me a little bit we're part of Team Viking on the Polar Bear Challenge. And uh, he has a little sad news and a little good news this last uh, week or so. He uh, lost one of his four legged babies. Like me, he owns uh, dogs and cats. Well, he has one cat and several, I think he's got three dogs now, three dogs and one cat. Whereas I've got four cats and two dogs. So, uh, he lost the pit, the pit bull, the young pit bull. I got a chance to meet that when I was there, but he's got a new um, long-haired dachshund called Pepper, and he posted pictures of it too. If you look at, if you're on the PBC site or you're interested, you can go to pbc.pbc.digidane.com. I'll put the link down below. And uh, he posted some pictures of the new little dog. <laughs> Doesn't even really look that much like a dachshund to me, but then um, long-haired dachshunds don't really look like a typical dachshund anyway, just because of the long hair. But so anyway, <clears throat> that, that's my shout out to my buddy Muzzle Mike, and I'm going to try to do a little bit better work last year. Last year, a lot of times when I couldn't ride, he went out there and. Uh, got some rides for our team. We had an excellent, excellent start. I mean, we're as far as other stuff in the competition, we're not even going to make attempt. I mean, as far as points and uh, miles and number of rides and stuff like that, we're going to be left in the dust. No doubt about that. But we did get to be the first team to post to the site, and we did get to be the first team where the team was qualified. Both members of the team qualified, so that was good. I don't want to make this video too long. I tend to jabber on and on and on, so. I've got another subject I'm going to talk about, but I'll leave it for my next video, which I might be making tomorrow. Ending mileage. 43445.3 43445.3 four,